Did they have intention of hating me? Mm. If I ask you that, would you answer? Do, do you think they had intention of it? Do you think you do you know why they are doing this? Ciao ragazzi! And welcome back to Lampis, which is what happened last week. Unexpected. Okay. Really unexpected. So we are in the process of buying a house. And we have been looking for houses. So we, we basically have a plan of uh, uh, just go and visit at least two to three houses or apartment per week. So we just schedule everything in between Friday afternoon and Sunday and we visit two or three apartments per week. And last week happened that we visited an apartment nearby at the airport in Berlin, the and South the Airport. was very racist. And the, how would you say the, um, what is that, the, the um, uh, what is what is it called the, the, in English, the MACLA? Real estate agent. The, the real estate agent, the real estate agent was really uh, weird. Was, that was no, racist. was racist. Was Just racist. put it out there. Because this is the question that started when it was racist mm -hmm. and unexpected. I, I didn't expect it because he was also first kind of very desperate to sell the house. But when it came to the question, I, I just racist and disrespectful mm. i've never felt so much disrespected in a long time like i really went too far and i also felt for the first time we walked out of the house and i said even if i liked that house i would never, I would buy, never it. buy it because i would never ever want to deal with that guy and i don't even think he was going to sell it to me so mm. it, I thought like it was an old guy though. No, yeah, I think so sell, it, sell it, sell it because I think the guy needed the money, so, needed the commission. It, it really gave me that feeling also because yes. on the phone because uh, we we were already like we had already an appointment schedule and the guy said already, oh really? But don't you want to have a look at the house today? Absolutely, I'm there even after six. It's not a problem. You can pass by any time. Ah, so on. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, but baby, the guy was saying all this information when he was dealing with Alessandro tonight, not when he, she, he was dealing with Lempi Akanjo. So the whole thing changed. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. The whole thing changed. So we went to the apartment and, and I don't care if he's old. Nobody should be like, you shouldn't treat people that way, whether you're old, young or so mm -hmm. Maybe you could ask other things politely this was just race we went to their point we wish you know we went there we checked the apartment we kind of liked it and then the question came up about um on whose name it was going to be mm -hmm. when you or we said it, it's when going I said to be, that, yeah, it's going to be on, on her name the Everything changed. Everything. The guy started to do to ask really weird question like how, how much, much do you, you earn per month? Yes, how much are you earning? It's not of your business, but also are you sure it's only going to be on her name? So mm -hmm. it could be like your money is being robbed. I don't know, all sort of thing. This is a guy doesn't even know why do you what does he care if who's we are a couple? Mm -hmm. But it the whole it was no longer a house visiting apart like uh, appointment it now just went into an interrogation of interview i would say oh we're getting all the information but are you sure that you have a bank approval this question came <laughs> came out four times are you sure that you have a bank how approval? much are you earning mm -hmm. and how much are you earning are you sure and then you and, and like are you sure that is how much you are earning mm -hmm. uh are you sure you have can i can you really afford this mm -hmm. it was this do you have a bank approved? Mm. So and that's, those are the things that the guy, I think, would have never brought up, but brought them up as soon as there is the Olympic account you're standing there, see mm -hmm. is a black person, and now is going to do business with this person. Mm -hmm. So all the doubts, I, I'm sorry, but that was pure racism. No, mm -hmm. nothing, nothing. And 
I don't know. I like I'm saying, we walked out of there and I was just like, I don't care. It's nice. It was not like the best. It was nice, but I just like I'm not going to work with this guy because I feel like you could send all your documents to be the last. No, to be honest, like, the guy the guy wanted to sell the bonong. He, he was not interested uh, about the things. But the question, how he asked mm -hmm. it, the question, it was going to be. It was really unpolite. No, so I, I will never. I just feel like, uh, you know, I will not buy that house the, anyway. The guy, I, I, I think the guy was for sure desperate and interested in selling the house. That is for sure. However, as soon as he realized that he was, I was the one going to buy the house, the house somehow our administration was going to be on our name, mm, he wasn't about to take chances. Let's just put it that way. Mm -hmm. Because I think it, so many doubt came to his mind like, Oh my goodness, now I start the process with this girl who cannot even afford nothing just to make me lose six weeks of administration of waiting for things that are never going to be approved. Mm -hmm. And was not believing in anything. And I've, we, have asked, we have seen about 10 different houses. Nobody ever asked us mm -hmm. how much we earn. Yes. So, because that, that has nothing to do with the person selling us the house. That has, I expect that our bank consultant to do this, mm -hmm. but not... No, not the matter. No. It's not so all his it, business. If you say no, you say the once I can afford the house, uh, that's it. Or I have finance. Everybody would say, do you have already? Have you been at the bank? Do you have a consultant with a consultation with the bank? Everything approved? Yes or no? But this guy wasn't even taking my yes. Mm -hmm. well, well, I don't know. I think he was like, mm -mm, mm -mm. and it it's also weird. You know what? Because. After I came home, I was like, I was going to write this guy an email, mm -hmm. obviously, because I felt disrespected. And usually I don't bring up like, I'm who, who, this is what I do. I wrote to him and I say, yeah, 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 and with my email signature, Dr. Lent was over. And I think that he also felt like, oh, maybe, oh, oh okay, she's a doctor. We could actually. No, I didn't he, care she, about she it. Did, he did actually reply. Mm -hmm. He did reply, mm -hmm. trying again to sell us the bono. Which, when were they trying to buy the bono was telling us all these things about how much you earn. Mm -hmm. And was looking at us like crazy, to be honest. Airports. Anyway. Airports, yes. The second most racial is really airport. But it's not something that happened only one. It's happening all the time. Con <laughs> constantly. At the airport, we get searched. But not me, of course. She's only the, the only one that gets searched every single time. She goes to the airport and she gets searched. They open the, the, the luggage, they do the drug test, they even do... They like even twice, say, yes, they even twice say... Twice they ask you, you to, to, to do like personal search. Why? No, twice more. Because those people at the airport are terrible. And that has, I would say, on three occasions at the airport, they said, they scan the suitcase, right? Then they say, it tests positive. Mm -hmm. You should send here and wait for but I know my bag doesn't test positive for drugs, even if they test for cigarettes, won't be positive. Mm -hmm. And I don't even think it tasted positive, but I think do their mind is made of this is every time I said this is not right on they say this it's it meet our criteria. But mm -hmm. what is criteria of that person? Because I have also changed my hairstyle a lot. I never go through those airports. Never. Every time I have to end up in a small room in the street. That's really bad. That's really bad. That is, it is, it's weird. It's sad. It's sad because that means that they have, they work with probably like identification path. Ah, so they, they already know that black people, black person, okay, that is a category yes. that should be searched, you know? Last, you know, last time I went to, I went to a meeting, like in Frankfurt, I went in the morning, I came back in the evening. They, I had my laptop, I had uh, like uh, two phones, two iPads, and then the guy was like, oh, check her. She have two, she's not sure how many electronics she has, and he has two laptops, check her. Then they switch on all your devices, we just want to see if they're real. I'm seriously? You know what offends me, mm -hmm. especially when I'm going to a meeting. I'm dressed like a normal former person. I, like I'm saying, I'm not dressed like maybe I woke up from under the bridge. You should have said no. 
and then uh, re they refuse it like uh, like. It's not, but they, they, then you lose the flight. Then and you the lose only, the flight. And the only oh. one that is going to lose is you, it's, you know? And that is the problem. But sometimes, once in a while, uh, like, you, we should really stand up yeah, to this Yeah, I of say all the Austin thing is racism, all that. They don't care. They have their faces made up of who to search. And mm -hmm. for some reason, whatever hairstyle, whatever outfit I have, whether I'm in a formal dress, I'm in, in a jumpsuit or so ever, I always, I always start, uh, The third episode that happened to us was uh, in Namibia and we were actually traveling the country with our car and we went to Luderitz uh, to visit some friends mm -hmm. and uh, we were in a shop because we were at the time we were camping and we needed to buy um, <laughs> uh, uh, a small blanket or something because it was so cold in the south of Namibia, so cold during winter. And uh, the, we, we bought the things in a store and then we, we came to the cashier and uh, the cashier was not believing that I was the one uh, like uh, paying it. That we were like, we put the things together uh, that we collect in the shop. We put it on the, on the bench in front of the cashier and, at the, and the cashier said, repeated to us three times, but uh, are you paying together? And then, yes, yes, we are paying together. Are you sure you're paying together? And then the third time, are you paying together? Yes, we are paying together, but I don't know. It just, they wouldn't believe that we were a couple. It just, I was like, okay, are you sure that you are with this guy, with this black lady? Racist. Exactly. So I don't think, I, I, I don't think it's justifiable in any other way other than just obviously it's racist. So whether it's, like I'm saying, whether you're in Ludwig, Rome, wherever, if you're in my small town, there is no, I don't think it's right to discriminate somebody if an Asian walk by me or come to my shop or an Indian mm -hmm. just because I'm not familiar with them or because they look different. That's my thing. Wherever you are, I just think wherever you are, racial discrimination is bad. And while it happened to us in Ludwig, it also, it did, it happened to us once in Rome, mm -hmm. in the, in the major, in the, in the very huge thing. In, in a very huge, uh, like it's, what is it called, department store with three different floors and stuff. And everybody came to me, I'm like, I'm just like very teeny tiny African woman walking by, but everybody came to me and I had only one item that I've paid for. Now, did they have intention of hurting me? I have no idea. Like, I, I don't know, unless if I, I would think they did have intention of hurting me, but I don't know. However, I don't think it's right. Because even when they came to me and they said, and I said, I paid for this item. They didn't believe me. They took my item and threw it away. Amazing. Everybody else, maybe four other different people with shopping baskets that are full of stuff mm -hmm. were never safe. They went through. But me, one single person, of course, different in color. With one, I had one item in hand that we paid from the bar. They took it away from me and they threw it away. That's just what it is. Now, if they had intention of hurting me, if they don't know better what, I don't know. Or if it's the system, I don't know. I just think it's not right mm -hmm. to be treated this way. There is a whole lot of discrimination against black people. We have to be honest. And I think for you, you didn't experience it until when we are in this, just to see. Of course, of course. How, I... how many things go we go through when we are together. I didn't, I didn't know, or, or I was not aware as much as, uh, yes, yes, as, I, as I'm, now. I'm living it right now because I'm living it through you. Of course, it's not. It is like me because whatever yes. has happened to you is is like it is happening to me. So whenever we have one of the episodes, I and now I'm really also really sensitive to these kind of things. And I think in the past I was not like that. Uh, not because I was not uh, sensitive to the topic, but just because uh, I was not aware of certain, uh, I don't know, misunderstanding or... It was not occurring to you every yes, single day. Or it was not occurring. Like yeah, it was also it was not you know, with a black person, so uh, like how would that happen? I don't know. Okay, so guys, uh, yeah, that was our bad experience. Our, so. Uh, 
every single experience that you have and you can share that would be nice uh, to, to share it with us in the comment we are interested in in uh, in, uh, in what happens to you and you can enrich also the content and the value of this video so maybe other people they can share their feelings and their thoughts on this topic ciao ciao ciao